In this video, I will show you how to upload YouTube Shorts on your computer. Log into YouTube, go to the top right corner, click it and select YouTube Studio and it will take you to the Creator backend. Make sure the video you are uploading is 1080 by 1920 which is the video format that will automatically be recognized as a YouTube Short as long as the video length is 60 seconds or less. Now select the Create button. You can either upload it from your Downloads folder or simply just drag it to the box. While waiting for the video to finish uploading, you can start writing your YouTube title. The default title is what you use to name your video. Change it to what you need. Then you want to add a simple description on what your video is about, followed by up to three hashtags. In this case, I used only two relevant tags. The YouTube hyperlink will have a slash shorts on it once uploaded. When uploading shorts on your PC or laptop, you cannot choose your thumbnail unlike on your mobile phone. That is the downside. I always set the video to no, it's not made for kids. You can check for paid promotion if your channel can be monetized. The rest are in default settings and you won't have to change it unless you want to. For tags on YouTube Shorts, it is not so important to have it, but I like to use rapidtags.io to create fast tags that can help the algorithm figure out what your Shorts is about if the title description is not clear. I just enter something relevant to my video such as simple healthy lifestyle tips. After that I copy the tag and paste it back in the tag box. Ignore the blue boxes and scores as those are related to vidIQ, and you will not have it unless you downloaded the extension, highly recommended Chrome extension to have for content creators. The publish to subscription feed and notify subscribers is always recommended, especially if you have a large audience, otherwise you can uncheck it. The allow embedding option just means people can embed your videos on places outside of YouTube. The shorts remixing option is also automatically turned on for other people to remix your video. I usually leave them on. The category section allows you to change the category. It is not super important for YouTube Shorts, but changing it to the most suitable one helps. The next section, under Video Elements, you can add long-form videos or other shorts into it. It can help get more views in the long run. For this example, I choose a random video, but for a niche channel, it can make your videos go viral. Under the Check tab, it will let you know if there are any copyright issues. And the final section under Visibility, you have the option to publish the shorts as private, unlisted, public, and schedule it for a later date. For this example, I will schedule it to two days later. It can be very useful if you are a content creator wanting to have a consistent upload schedule, and you can also make changes on your videos in the future if you have made a mistake. Once you are happy with the settings, you can click on the Schedule button. The Shorts will show up under the Shorts tab on your YouTube Creator Studio content section. That concludes the tutorial video. Thanks for watching.